How's it going YouTube? Trinidad here. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be giving my live reaction to the Dragon Ball Heroes Victory Mission manga. Now, I'm not supposed to be streaming this online or anything, so we're not going to be reading the manga verbatim like we did DBAF. We're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm going to be reading it chapter by chapter and then giving my thoughts as we progress. And so far, I just finished the first couple chapters. Uh, the first one was a couple pages, and the second one was three pages. Nothing major. Just being introduced to our main character, Beat, and the Dragon Ball Heroes card game. And like I know this is a promotional manga similar to the anime, so I'm not expecting high art, especially from Victor Mission. I heard the story doesn't start until the next manga. But I wanted to read Victory Mission just for the context, you know. Just for the understanding of where, what Dragon Ball Heroes is and some of the characters. I know it's not exactly a one-to-one -one thing to where this will ultimately matter. But I think it's something that I should read anyway, just for the culture. And so far, I'm not too impressed. I mean, it was just some action and it's fun action. But we are going to see if the rest of Victory Mission will change my mind. Um, so yeah, I mean the chapter, the second chapter ends with this mysterious new female character. I've seen on box art for Dragon Ball Heroes and everything. I think her name is Note. I forgot her name. I think that might be it. So let's just see where this goes. Okay, I just finished Dragon Ball Heroes Chapter 3. I gotta say, this took a bit of a direction that I did not exactly expect so quickly. Again, this is a promotional manga, so they're kind of speeding through the plot points and everything, so I'm not exactly going to get on their tail about that. But we got Note and Beat having their battle, and Note used her Super Baby 2. And then Beat kind of came back with some pretty good dialogue, I gotta say. I found it really impactful. Uh, I just got to know Beat, but he's already a pretty likable character. And he's not sexist, because he said it doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. No, you're strong, but I won't give up. Um, so obviously, we see that this was during a time before Super, so the latest thing was GT. So he sees Super Baby 2, he's like, oh my gosh, that's a formidable enemy. Of course, now Super Baby 2's, you know, fodder, pretty much. But Beat throws out the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. We get some pretty cool art from Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Of course, with Toyotaro on art is amazing. And then Beat and Note make up and they become allies. And what's his name? Sora, I think his name. He says, that's it. Winning isn't everything in battle. The power to make friends and recognize their strength. That's the real power needed to become the strongest heroes. To the strongest hero. So yeah, that's the real... It says here, our heroes join forces and obtain the true victory. So, that's what the victory mission was all about, was the friends we made along the way. I thought it was pretty cute. Well, I just read chapter 4 of victory mission, and I gotta say, it was a little bit of filler. Okay, it probably wasn't filler, it was just Beat's introduction to what a tournament actually is. Competing in the tournament. And going through a little bit of a trial, nothing too crazy. And he fights this Boo guy, so he's a guy, uh, his avatar is like a Majin Race character. Beach using Cooler and Frieza against him. And this guy's using uh, Boo and Hercule, or Mr. Satan. And then, of course, Beat gets off the GT Goku Super Saiyan 4, of course. That's going to be his. Uh, I guess it's going to be his main play for a while, since, of course, at the time, this was the coolest character since Slice Bread. This was before we had, like, Ultra Instinct now, so that makes sense. And then at the end of the chapter, we get the introduction of Irito, whoever that's going to be, who's wiping the floor with all these other contestants. I really like the dynamic between Note and Beat so far. It's kind of fun. And Note is a celebrity, so that's a fun way to distinguish them from one another. So far, though, I'm interested to see where this goes in terms of what the overall story is. It seems like it's just Beat getting the uh, 
getting the lay of the land when it comes to how to play Dragon Ball Heroes, so let's just see how this goes. Well, I just finished chapter 5, and I gotta say it was a pretty enjoyable chapter. I really liked it, and I really liked the way the story's going. Obviously, it's in the Dragon Ball Heroes era, and I was reading the wiki, and apparently, I mean, I know at the time GT was the latest product, but apparently this is in-universe, the future of GT, and they're just pretty much playing cards of the heroes of the past, so that's cool. One thing that... I really like is they introduced this character named Irito, I guess is his name, and in the Dragon Ball card game universe, he is pretty similar to how he looks. I guess he's supposed to be an android or something, I don't know. Well, no, well, no I think he's a Saiyan because he turns into a Super Saiyan here. And he's facing this guy named Froze, and Froze is the Freezer Race character that we see. And Irito's all like, well, I'm going to play powerful cards, but... Uh, but Froze is playing it smart and he summons uh, characters again I don't know the ins and outs of how the Dragon Ball Heroes card game is played they kind of explain some of it but I didn't completely understand it I understand what they're going for here though and uh, so yeah Froze is like tactical he puts all of his stats into defense and then he hits them with some powerful attacks he ends up winning and now Beat is going to fight Froze so that was really cool how they ended the last chapter kind of setting up Irito as the threat, and then Irito immediately loses to Froze. And it, it was just interesting to see. Uh, really raised the stakes and made things a bit more interesting than I was expecting them to be. Another thing is Note and Beat's chemistry. I really like it. I think it's fun. I like, um, like this quote here. Um, whenever Beat is, like, impressed by... Uh, Froze, I think it is, or Irito. Yeah, B, uh, B is impressed by Irito, and Note is like, I don't want to hear that from you. And then she explains, and then he's like, either way, I won't. I won against you, Note. And then she says, by chance, I never lose. And then she says, that was a more horrible match than I can admit, or care to admit, or whatever. So, I like, I still like them as characters, and I'm very interested to see what the next chapter does and they're short chapters too so that's nice anyway that's it for this part i'll be right back just finished chapter six and boy is it a whopper of a chapter i really enjoyed the start of the battle with froze which is still an interesting name we see that he's changed up his deck so he's being still being very tactical and Beat also changed up his deck last minute as well because his buddy uh, thought, you know what, you need to change up your deck to keep him on his feet, and he changed up his deck too, so that kept things fresh. And then we have Forte here who fought at the tournament, and then we find out that she actually would have lost against the kid if the kid did not... Uh, disqualify himself or something what does it say here it says he um he would have uh kid didn't go to the nationals he dropped out yeah so so yeah this is pretty interesting really setting froze up as a threat i'm really into what they're doing here and i can't wait to read the next chapter i just read chapter seven of the victory mission manga and i'm kind of hooked so we start the chapter off and Beat's getting laid into him by Froze and his squad. And then Beat barely survives and he goes on the offensive, activates his trap card, I guess you could say. Again, I'm not super versed in Dragon Ball Heroes terminology. So we actually see Forte teasing Note that her boyfriend lost. So for all you Note shippers out there who've shipped Note and Beat, that's pretty interesting there that she's teasing her by calling him her boyfriend. Anyway, Beat turns Super Saiyan. He's like, I'm not down yet, but he puts on a good show with Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Froze acts like he's going in and he's falling for the bait. And then Super Saiyan 4 Goku just goes for it with a Kamehameha. Everybody's like, oh my gosh, is this Beat's game? Did Beat just win? And then Froze activates his trap card, the revival thing. And now he's back in the game. And it looks like Beat is about to die to... Froze's death ball with uh, Froze saying, that hurt, I hurt, it hurt. Um, 
So that's pretty interesting there. And beat powers down. So I'm pretty excited to see how this next chapter goes, honestly. Uh, I was kind of hesitant about this series whenever I started it, but now I'm pretty into it. So, yeah. I just finished chapter 8, and boy, I gotta say, Dragon Ball Heroes Victory Mission is kind of wholesome. Uh, I was not expecting to be enjoying it as much as I am so far. I gotta say, I'm really liking the characters, and this manga could have actually been a pretty good promotional anime. Of course, that's not the direction they ended up taking because they started the promotional anime with Super Dragon Ball Heroes. But I want to go back now and watch those Dragon Ball Heroes old, um, like, videos that they used to put out that, you know, I would see, like, ten years ago and think, oh my god, what is this? I'm so confused. But, anyway, yeah, this chapter was really good. I really enjoyed it. I like that... Oh, one thing I missed was that Beat actually lost in the last chapter. I didn't see the little KO in the bottom left corner, but Beat lost against Froze. And then in this chapter... We see that um, Note and her buddy, I can't remember her name, I keep on blank on her name, but anyway, they're kind of theorizing that Froze is a bit of a heartless bastard who's just doing this like a computer, like he has no heart. But Beat realizes in that smile that he had whenever he was beating Beat that Froze is actually a pretty good guy who just likes the game so much. He loves the game and he loves winning. And so Froze is getting bullied, and then Beat kind of takes up for him. And then they become friends, and that's pretty much where the chapter ends. But yeah, I really liked this chapter. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to get into the next one. So I just finished Volume 1. I guess this is where I will end it for now. And then I'll pick up Volume 1 in the next video. So the last two chapters were a lot of fun. They were pretty much setting up this next arc that I'm sure is going to carry over into, into the second volume rather well i really like that they're paying off some of the characters and bringing some of the characters back like that irito character who has become the west area representative he was originally in the east area but he wants to rematch beat so that's a lot of fun there and then we got new characters which are the android characters i gotta say you can tell i mean they're supposed to be younger characters but they're surprisingly buff and it's a little weird seeing their art because they look too much like the weird heartless androids, but I guess that's the point. Um, it's just a little odd and off-putting, but that's besides the point. We got a scene in Chapter 10 of one of them really going to town. And he had the Super 17 card. And of course, if you're a Japanese kid reading this manga, you're like, Oh my god, I gotta get the Android deck. It's a game changer. And I thought it was kind of sad that Sora refuses to train Beat. That's like, okay, Sora. Because he's like telling Beat to go off and make his own name and do his own thing. And, you know, I get that, but it's a little weird. Um, but I understand. I guess that's just the type of guy this Sora character is. Anyway, the chapter ends with the East Area representative probably being decided to be Beat, which would make sense. And then we are going to get into this next big tournament. So, what do I think about the series so far? Again, this is Volume 1. And getting into my review, what do I think? I think it's a lot of fun. I actually think that I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this manga. I had, I had personally gone back and tried to read it before. And I only read like the first page or two. And I couldn't remember it. Be like tonight, I couldn't remember it because... <laughs> I was like, okay, this is Dragon Ball Heroes, and all I could remember is, like, fan service, like, uh, the Super Baby Janemba or whatever, that's literally all I can remember, and I'm like, okay, I don't need to read this, but honestly, there's a lot of heart to this, there's some fun action, obviously, it is only a few pages, so there's a lot of panels that are shrunken down to fit a more complete story than uh, what they could do, so I understand that and it's just a lot of fun so i'm definitely going to be reading the second volume and i'm going to be dividing this into like two videos or maybe three videos and we're going to see how well this does for the channel i want to go through all of dragon ball heroes uh the manga to finally like get that under my belt because i've been avoiding it because i'm like it's non-canon it doesn't matter it's fan service blah 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 but honestly just want to get it out of the way i've watched the anime already like 
the first two anime or whatever it was. And without the context of the manga, I've been told it's hard to follow and it is hard to follow without the context of the manga. So I might even, when I get to that point, I might even just read the manga and then rewatch the anime and then see how that experience treats me. So yeah, overall, I'm really enjoying this first series, which I know is not connected to the other ones that are that have been coming out. This is like its own thing about the literal card game. And then the other Dragon Ball Heroes is like the story inside of the card game. So I understand all that, but I'm reading this first just to get the full experience. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, if you like this type of experimental content that I'm working with now, let me know comments down below. Subscribe and like the video. I will see you in the next one. Peace off.